So this week I was going down to London's Anime and Gaming Con. I was going to go to the one in Plymouth as well, which is on the same week, but the train track was swept up by Poseidon, that all collapsed. So the universe was pointing in one single direction. So here we are in the queue. This queue is so much fun. It's like way of the train, a lot of fun. Connor's really enjoying himself in this queue. Oh, so much fun. Yeah, and this guy, this guy's certified boss. Boss stage and the level boss of this whole queue. <laughs> the guy with me is called Connor, who's a young illustrator who's illustrated a manga for me called Pearl and also helped out with Indigo Babies. Now I called this channel Indigo Babies because it's sort of the best way to describe how I feel but it's also the name of the graphic novel that I'm making with the sponsorship from the University of West England. So last year I went to my first set of comic conventions and they were in Bristol and in London and they were good to go around but this was going to be my first anime one. Now I've been watching anime since I was 8 years old. I went over to an island called Corsica from London. This would have been in like 1997 something like that and over at that point Dragon Ball Z was like a real 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 big thing. It hadn't got to America or England yet but in France it was just a standard. Be sure to get freezer there. <laughs> yeah, definitely sick. So that's when I first got into anime. At that point, I didn't really see myself as into anime. That was just a cartoon that I really liked. When I came back over to England, I was telling everybody about it. It hadn't come out yet. When it did come out, I didn't actually watch it because I couldn't really deal with the voiceover. But soon, you know, by the time I was 13, 14, kind of went back inside of the anime world. And that's one of the biggest inspirations for all of the stories that I want to tell. It's kind of half what I see in my real life with the way that the Japanese tell their stories. Now, I can honestly say with this convention that it's probably one of the most positive atmospheres that I've ever been in. I've kind of seen the inside of the film industry, the inside of the music industry and it does seem like the comic industry seems to be one of the most positive places. There isn't a, um, I don't know, like a standard practice of backstabbing. Inside of this building there was nothing but good vibes, like literally none. The only way I can describe it, it was almost like if it was somebody's birthday that everybody liked so that everybody just got on for the sake but yet there was no particular attention on one person so many different types of people there all different shapes and sizes all there just to have a good time and it that's exactly what happened so when it comes to the cosplay aka the people dressing up in costume I found it real interesting to actually be inside of the environment Obviously I've seen it on videos and stuff like that and just thought yeah you know fair play people doing what they're doing I got mates who were the first to try and dress up in costume when it comes to parties and stuff like that so it was nothing crazily new but actually being inside of the atmosphere and seeing how the interaction works I felt like I understood it a little bit and I don't know if I'm getting too deep on it but the thing that it kind of made me think was for the last three years, there's a standard thing that people would see me in, and that's my own clothing label that I created. And I just thought, is there really much difference in, you know, one person creating a clothes and wearing it, and another person creating some clothes and wearing it? Ultimately, it comes down to expression. It comes down to how, you know, how people want to be viewed. And the differences in this scenario is obviously it's a group of people who have collectively decided that you're not going to be judged on the brands that you're wearing it does actually come down to how you express yourself now obviously there are people there who have spent so much money on their costumes but yet that's the interesting thing actually about being in the environment people don't run up to you because it's like oh that looks expensive you know people just appreciate other people expressing themselves you can kind of do what you want and that again was something that I a theme that I think ran through the whole event was that you know at a certain point in the night 
I mean, the whole way through, people were getting smashed. People were drinking from 11 o'clock when they got there and never stopped. Certain people. But the people who were smashed weren't going over to the people who were sober, like, oh yeah, you've got to be drinking. The people who were sober weren't looking down on the people who were smashed, like, oh, what are you doing? The people who were in cosplay weren't going to the people who weren't, like, oh, why aren't you dressed up? And vice versa. The whole thing was just a nice vibe the whole way through. And what you need to think about when you're making a comic, because at the end of the day, manga means comic. You know, so it's not just about standalone pretty artwork of characters, it's also about actually making your comic come together as a cohesive sort of whole and something to read. Now I gained a lot of direct information from being in this place, there were a lot of people giving talks about the manga and comic industry, there were people who had created their own manga, their own manga related brands, their own manga related merchandise, all of these sorts of things. So just being in the environment where it is so niche, but the niche is so close to my heart in terms of how I'm choosing to express what I'm doing. Um, I definitely say that if anybody has even the slightest interest in any of these things, it's worth going down to these sorts of places just so that you can interact with people who are on that same level, who are probably coming at it from a completely different angle so you can draw your own different type of inspiration from it. So at the end of this week, I've got to hand my final text draft into the proofreaders um, waiting for my barcode I've got to sort out what's going to go on the inside pages of the graphic novel and then it's going to be going off to print so I'm real happy with all the people that I met hopefully we'll be able to keep in contact I'll be sending them the graphic novel when it's done and moving on to the next stage <laughs>